Hi, I'm Mike Coyle, and you're watching Inside Exploration. Today, I'm here with André Tessier, who is the president and CEO of Delta Resources. And you can find Delta on the TSX Venture under DLTA. André, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. No problem. So I just seen you a couple of weeks ago down at PDAC, and clearly you had some good uh, conversations there because your stock price is up almost 250%. Want to talk to us a bit about your engagements at PDAC? Yeah, sure. It was. Uh, you're right. It was a very busy PDAC. I think. Uh, I think people are starting to take notice. Uh, you know, the, the the friends that I met there have uh, been, you know, uh, hassling me, telling me, "Hey, what's all the buzz about Delta Resources?" So, uh, so we had a lot of visitors at the booth. Uh, we had the core of the booth, which generated, I think, a lot of interest um, for the geologists in the crowd. They were looking at the intensity of alteration and the host rock and and really intrigued as to you know how big the system is and uh for the uh, the non-geologist it was just uh, seeing the visible goal in the core that always gets people excited so yeah it kept us uh it kept us really busy we had some great discussions with uh geologists and investors alike uh including some funds and some uh, some major uh you know geology companies as well exploration companies so yeah we're all good Excellent. All right. So part of investing in the junior mining space, you know, as good as a project is, it's not always the be all and end all of the project. It takes a good management group to move it forward. Andre, my interactions with you have been very professional. It's been you've executed very well. I've been impressed with how you've had ongoing drilling campaigns. Um, but I'd like our investors or our shareholders at, on that note to have a better idea of who you are as a person. So can you give us a little bit of insight? Ah, uh, boy. Well, thanks for that, by the way. Uh, who am I as a person? Um, well, I've been at this for uh, 36 years now. Um, this is by far uh, the, the most exciting project I think I've seen um, so far, and I've worked on on a lot of very good projects. Um, who am I personally? Um uh, I'm a father of two, uh, married for uh, 35 years, and, uh, and and you know still kicking. So that's that's uh, the important thing. It's uh, this job puts a lot of strain on family, but we manage to make it work. Um, as far as uh, personally, I, I was I'm an engineer. I studied at Ecole Polytechnique in Montreal. Uh, seems like a lifetime ago, and uh, did my postgraduate work at uh, Queen's University. And, uh, and since then, I've worked, uh, I've worked in the industry. Uh, my first job was as a manager of exploration uh, in, uh, in Rouen, Aranda, in Quebec for Cominco Limited. Um, then I started doing some consulting for about 13 years. Um, and uh, this was both uh, Canadian and international exploration with major and junior companies alike. And um, and then moved on to uh, to Mergor Resources, uh, which was a client at the time. They asked me to take uh, take over the, uh, the the company, so I was uh, president of Mergor Resources for uh, for twelve years, from two thousand and three to twenty fifteen. Um, we sold to a company called Alexandria Minerals, and I took a, a couple of years to work for the geological, uh, the Ontario Geological Survey as resident geologist. And in 2019, uh, when this great opportunity came along to get back into the uh, the junior mining sector, I jumped in uh, with both feet. So, uh, so since June of 2019, I've been president of Delta Resources. Excellent segue. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, Delta Resources in a nutshell? All right. Well, Delta Resources uh, was founded uh, from an old company called the Golden Hope Mines uh, that hadn't been active since 2008, had a really stagnant project that we immediately sold. We changed the management, uh, changed the board. And um, and basically, you know, got got going. Uh, our our main objective was to get uh, excellent exploration projects. We uh, optioned off uh, two properties: the Delta One property in Thunder Bay, Ontario, and the Delta Two property in Shibugamo, Quebec. 
We optioned the Delta One property in October, on October 3rd, 2019, and we were drilling on November 3rd, 2019. So, uh, so we uh, we hit the hit the ground running, uh, let's say, and uh, and you know we've been exploring these properties for uh, you know since 2019, since October 2019. Um, in in uh, in Thunder Bay, we've had amazing success, uh, and and I'm sure we'll elaborate on that. But a brand new discovery that's showing some real size potential, and in Shibugamo, Quebec, it's more of a, a VMS play. Uh, we're close to the Lemoine mine, and Lemoine was a VMS deposit, um, copper, uh, zinc gold and silver it was a small deposit but extremely rich with 9.6 uh, percent zinc 4.5 percent copper 4.2 grams per ton gold there was a it was a little jewelry box so we're we're looking for the extensions of that deposit at the delta 2 property in shibugo it's always nice when you can tap into a satellite of a vms deposit but they're hard to find due to their very small geophysical footprints on surface most of the time. We'll get into the Shibugamu 2 stuff maybe in another interview, but today I really want to focus in on the Delta 1 project. Because this is the project that, you know, when I first came on board doing marketing and content creation with you guys, this was just a newly acquired project. And you're getting sniffs and signs of something bigger, but, you know, towards the middle of last year, end of last year, you finally hit something really nice. So talk to us about, you know, hitting VG for the first time on the Delta One property and, and kind of the doors that it opened for you? Well, we we had actually um, you know seen a little bit of VG at the Delta uh, Delta One project uh, in the past. We uh, we started drilling there in, in November of 2019 with small drill programs. Um, initially, we were testing ideas that were you know uh, proposed to us by uh, by the the geologist from whom from which we we acquired the property. Um, the those results were uh, call them mitigated, but but we certainly um, uh, we certainly hit some some clues that there was something uh, in the area. The the size of the alteration zone was really impressive. Um, everything that you hit had a little bit of gold in it. Certainly some good anomalous anomalous gold. Um, so uh, so yeah, we just persisted and uh, and we seemed to see a, an intensification of the alteration towards the east of that project or at that zone. And, um, and eventually with drill hole 18 started seeing uh, a lot more visible gold uh, that translated into much higher grade. So in, in October, we announced our, our drill hole number 18, which at the time was the furthest to the east and the deepest hole uh, onto the project. And um, and discovered uh, well, we intersected uh, 5.9 grams over 31 meters, uh, and that's including 14.8 grams. So that's almost half an ounce over uh, uh, almost 13 meters. So um, that really got us started and got you know got people noticed. Uh, people started noticing our, our project. Uh, like I said, that was the easternmost uh, intersection ever. We followed that up with two drill holes, um, drill holes 24 and drill holes 20, drill hole 25. And as we just reported in this press release uh, this morning, uh, drill hole 24 now stands at uh, almost 6.5 grams per ton gold over 10 meters. And drill hole 25 had uh, three different zones, one of a meter wide, but at 130 grams per ton gold, one of 20 meters wide at 1.2 grams per ton. And the third uh, was uh, um, 1.66 grams per ton over 18 meters. So uh, that that really got us excited because you know we we knew this one hole uh, drill hole 18 was was not a fluke we're actually entering a zone of high grade mineralization uh, that was persistent at that point over 100 meters long uh, and by the way now it's about 650 meters long yep so let's talk about that because in today's news release you highlight um, gold seems to be following the low mag structure in the geophysics. Can you talk to us a bit about some of the understanding that you've come to realize with this with this drilling and the geophysics combined? Yeah, uh, actually, it, it, the, what we published today are, are that geophysical signature of the of the deposit is is really um, well fairly obvious. Um, 
we're 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 looking at a, a magnetic low, and the, the only real mineral that's that's magnetic on Earth is called magnetite. There's a few others, but magnetite is the main one, and obviously it's an iron-rich uh, mineral. It's an iron oxide. The the um, the hydrothermal fluids that are responsible for the gold mineralization at delta one um, basically removed the iron from the magnetite and, and brought it into another mineral called anchorite and potentially pyrite as well. As a result, you've you've demagnetized the rocks, the host rocks of the of the ore body. Mm -hmm. And as a result, again, what we're seeing is a magnetic low. So we've been drilling on a magnetic low, um, and we've now outlined 1.4 kilometers strike length on that magnetic low. But what's super exciting is that now to the east of that of that deposit, or what we've outlined so far. There's another 1.2 kilometers of strike length that is that is a, an even more intense magnetic low that has never ever been drilled. So we're looking at you know the potential extension uh, of of well over uh, two kilometers uh, of strike length of that deposit. And I, I should say we own uh, about three and a half kilometers of property in that in that direction. So it was interesting because, you know, you're going to be chasing this all the way over to the east and Mustangos grabs some ground north of you and some other people have been grabbing ground. You guys have been grabbing a lot of ground. Um, talk to us about all the area plays that are going because you're not the only one having success on this project right now. You've got the whole Shabandawan belt is producing really great results for a lot of companies. Yeah, it's actually the, the Shabandawan belt is getting really, really hot right now. And, and people are noticing, um, you know, for a while now, Moss Lake, uh, the Moss Lake deposit with Gold Shore you know, has been producing some excellent results, uh, you know, bulk tonnage, uh, low grade material, although there's a higher grade uh, zone within that uh, prospect of open pit, if you will. Um, so that's really exciting. And they're also on the uh, Shabandawan structure, structural zone, just like we are. So, you know, that structure proves is proving to be really, um, you know, really potentially you know, very high grade and very high uh, gold content. The other company uh, just to the east of us, I think they put out a press release yesterday, uh, Thunder Gold. Um, same thing at the tower zone. They're getting some great intersection. They just published a really high grade uh, intersection just recently. So they're a, another group to follow. And, and as you mentioned, Mistango River, just north of uh, the Delta property, the Delta One property, uh, they've got the Goldie zone and they've been following that uh, for uh, apparently about a kilometer of strike length. Uh, so so yeah, it's uh, it's becoming a, a real area play, and uh, and it's getting really really hot. Uh, so it's it's great to have company, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, so you've got a few holes that are still pending uh, results, and it was noted in a previous news release that you you've got some. It's better looking high grade. It's blebier. What's the what are you seeing in these these uh, holes that you're you're about to release when you get the results? We we actually have uh, thirteen holes uh, that have not been released yet. Uh, we're hoping to to get those results out within a couple of weeks, uh, at least uh, you know early April at some point. Uh, not all of them, but we'll we'll get them as they as they come as the results come. Um, visually, uh, we we sh we have shown some photos, I guess, before uh, before PDACN released uh, some of the visual estimates that we're seeing. Um, we're, we've seen visible gold in, in so far nine of the 13 drill holes that we've drilled. Um, generally, there are specks of gold that we see on millimeter, millimeter scale, uh, but we have also seen some, some macroscopic gold that, that uh, you know, and, and we've shown the, the photos in our press releases. Um, it's extremely encouraging. Uh, we know that 
you know, when you see visible gold, again, it's, it's an indication you're in the right spot. Uh, seeing the, the small specks of gold don't necessarily mean you're going to have super high grade, but, you know, not seeing gold doesn't mean you're not going to have high grade. So it's, uh, that's the nature of gold and that's the nature of nuggety gold as well. But it's, uh, it's extremely exciting that, uh, that we're seeing that we've got that visual indication that gold is there in that alteration zone. So what's the plan for 2023 is the company, what's your cash position? What's your exploration plan moving forward? We're, we're sitting now with about two and a half million dollars in the bank. Um, we uh, are embarking on uh, probably an expanded drilling program. We've just completed nearly 4,000 meters of drilling. Uh, we're drilling for $225 uh, a meter, all inclusive. So you can do the math, a 4,000 meter uh, drilling program is a million bucks. Um, you have to know that we're we're extremely early in the game here. We we've, we've uh, got a total of about nine thousand meters drilled on the property, and only about seven thousand of those uh, of those meters uh, actually tested the zone because we you know, we were looking for the zone initially. Um, so you know, in contrast, you know, you can look at uh, Moss Lake, where where uh, uh, Gold Shore has has been drilling about a hundred thousand meters of drilling. So we're really really early in the game, um, but we are planning to accelerate the program, uh, expand the program, and try to try to show people just the scale of that deposit. Um, and uh, and I think I think we're going to be moving pretty fast. So. In the near term, you can look for news until you know, between now and the summer. We're going to start drilling again uh, as soon as uh, as the water table has come up and we can get decent water to, to start drilling again. And uh, and yeah, you can expect uh, a whole bunch of results to come uh, uh, in 2023. And I, I think it's going to be a pivotal year for Delta. Now, this is a small area of the overall land package that you actually hold in the Shabandawan belt though now with this data that you've collected with the geophysics correlating with the drilling will you be sending another team out in the summer to maybe start expanding on the property and looking at other areas that might correlate with some of the data that you have right now uh, yeah we will uh we've got um um we um already have indication on the western portion of the property that we have mineralization of the same style as the Eureka zone, about five kilometers away. Um, so we're definitely going to be sending some teams to uh, to investigate more in that area. Um, there are some properties, as you know, uh, we, we've um, uh, optioned off some private properties uh, where nobody has done any exploration since the 30s, if that. Um, so we're going to go on in the field for those on those properties, and we're going to make sure that that we don't miss anything. So there's going to be a, you know, probably in tandem with the drilling and with some mechanical trenching, we're probably going to have exploration crews doing some surface exploration as well. Excellent. And for those that don't know, this project literally sits on the main traverse way on the main highway that goes to Thunder Bay and over to Manitoba. So it's not very often that you find a deposit of this size and scale right next to a major highway. So Andre, thank you so much for uh, for joining us today. Really appreciate your time. I won't keep you any longer. We'll do another follow-up interview with you when you get going on Shibugamu. Um, but for now, congratulations on your discovery and look forward to seeing the, the results of those 13 holes that we're waiting for. Well, thanks very much, Mike. We're uh, we're anticipating those results as well. We're looking forward to it, and uh, and really, you know, uh, all your all your uh, your spectators or your your crew should be uh, should be looking out for that as well. Your followers. Well, I know I'm excited to get my feet back on the property because now that I have a better understanding of everything, it really kind of helps you wrap your head around the project as a whole. So thanks again. This has been uh, Andre Tessier, President and CEO of Delta Resources. I'm your host, Mike Coyle. Thanks so much for joining us today.